Welcome to a definition of R squared for investment modeling by Factorpad. It's Paul and here's how we'll do it. First, we'll start with a definition. Next, we'll visualize R squared. And last, we'll demonstrate the calculation in Excel. Okay, let's start with the definition from our glossary. R squared, or sometimes called coefficient of determination, is a measure of the co-movements between two data sets, like returns on two stocks. For investments, it is used for statistical interpretations. The R refers to Pearson's R, or R from correlation, and is calculated by squaring the correlation between a pair of securities. This transforms the correlation scale of minus 1 to plus 1 to another easily interpreted scale of 0 to 1. On the one end, 0 indicates no relationship, and 1 indicates a perfect linear relationship. Yes, R squared is important, so let's go get the visual. We're sitting in Excel, and this is a snippet from our boot camp course. This is one depiction of R squared from a scatter plot of returns for one stock Merck versus a basket of stocks, the market, for 60 different periods. Think about each dot here as returns for the market on the x-axis and Merck on the y-axis for each month. So if stocks exhibit co-movements, and they appear to here, then a pattern will look linear. A random shotgun pattern would have low R-squared. Once we square correlation, the direction of the line goes away, and we can only interpret the goodness of fit of the line versus the data points. The best way to understand R-squared is with an example, so let's head there now. We'll walk all the way through a calculation for two stocks, Microsoft and eBay, we have six monthly returns for each stock from April to September 2003. Column F is the return on Microsoft. eBay is in column G. Next, we compute the average of each here, 2.38% and 3.98%. Then move those over to columns H and I. In column J, take the return minus this average, which gives us 3.24%, and that's 5.62 minus 2.38. For eBay, it is 8.91 minus 3.98, or 4.93%. And carry that formula down, and let's call these D-mean returns. Next, in column L, multiply these together. And as you notice, when the stocks move together, like in April, the product is positive and when they move in opposite directions, the product is negative. Next, using the equal sum function, add up the products to get the minus 0 0.0037 for the pair of stocks. Next, divide by six observations for covariance of minus 0 0.0006. This isn't interpretable as the units are in return squared, so we translate to correlation by dividing by the product of the two standard deviations. And then to interpret the R squared, or correlation squared, it explains what percentage of the total error is explained by the X variable. Okay, that's it. And as you can tell, there's a whole lot more to R squared. And to learn more, I suggest diving right into the boot camp for a classroom approach. There you basically recreate all of this during videos that range from 15 to 35 minutes, including a short lecture with guests and a little comedy too. It's on YouTube now with no sign up. Just navigate to the playlist or from factorpad.com. Click subscribe here to be alerted about new videos and we're tweeting too at factorpad. All right, thanks for your time today. I hope you had fun learning about R squared.